I can't keep fighting Phil on this. Our businesses are all entwined. You gotta pick your battles. You want your no-show jobs, Vito's gotta go. It's the right move, T. All those weeks in the hospital, surgeries, constant pain, for what? Come out here and get shot over something like this? Nah, I'm sorry. If Vito wanted to pursue that lifestyle, he should have done so quietly. He was, wasn't he? Anyone in particular you want to give this to? Well, Carlo had the biggest problem with it. Let him handle it. It's Vito's own fault. Why couldn't he stay wherever the f he was? Don't beat yourself up about this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Steve Malsberg Show. And uh, we start the show... On a very, very sad note, um, the death of James Gandolfini. I was at my son's uh, baseball game last night and a CNN alert crossed my BlackBerry. And I, I, I mean, to say I did a double take is an understatement. And everyone, I started telling all the parents and they would say, get out of here. How could that, how could that be? And um, James Gandolfini and that, that, that clip there, uh, you know, just, uh, just one sample of a million samples we could play. And I picked that because they're talking about whacking um, Vito, Vito Spadafori, the character in The Sopranos, and uh, Vito was, uh, was played by my good friend who I attended school with all the way through Lafayette High School, Joseph Ganascoli, who uh, is kind enough to join us right now during this difficult time. Joe, how are you, sir? Hi, Steve. I got to tell you, I mean, how, tell me how you found out and, and, and what, what, what you thought, what your reaction was. You know, Steve, we go way back, and you were there, you know, pretty much through the chronicling the uh most of the sopranos when i was on it um i uh someone had called me and asked me if it was true and i said i, mean, I don't know anything about it i was on googled it while i was on the phone with him i said i don't see anything and he said well we haven't gotten confirmed yet but they asked their man the managers or the agents of jimmy and they said no comment they said it was not a good sign and so i reached out to someone and then they confirmed it and I was, uh, of course, like the rest of the world, shocked and saddened and, um, you know, scared a little bit, you know, because he's younger than me. And, uh, you know, he was a big guy and probably didn't smoke as much as I did, but uh, I'm hoping it's a wake-up call. But I just kept thinking about, you know, the kids and his new daughter, eight months old and right michael's 13 and he just has an eight month old daughter as well right. and michael was with him um i mean we, i could ask you about the acting i could ask you about what a impact the sopranos had but but tell us about the man i mean tell it yeah. tell us about tell us something we don't know from afar well yeah that's what i've been sort of I, you know yesterday show i went to bed and i didn't want to you know do any of this stuff because and i said uh, you know everybody knows about his acting everybody knows you know put HBO on the map, but people should know that he was just a you know, humble, down-to-earth, regular guy. And um, a couple instances uh, come to mind. You know, he came to my wedding with his son, like the rest of the cast, but he uh, spoke, which he's a very shy guy, didn't give a lot of interviews, spoke in front of everyone, said beautiful words to me and my wife. He came to my restaurant in Bay Ridge uh, when he knew that the rest of the cast members were coming and meeting fans, and he wanted to do it. And I was like, really? Uh, you know, I said, Jim, you don't really have to. He said, no, 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 it'd be fun. I want to. And he came when he was sick as a dog, pouring rain, and it was cold. And he stayed, there was a line down the block, and he stayed till he met everyone and took a picture with everyone. And then um, when my character changed and he, we were doing the read through, he uh, took me outside and he said, look, you know, we can go talk to David. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, you're from Brooklyn. You know, you know a lot of guys. You know a lot of people. It's you mean when the like, character went gay, went yeah. turned gay, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. We can talk yeah. to him, and we don't have to do this. I said, well, Jim, I sort of asked for it. You know what I mean? So I'll trust him in that they know what they're doing, and, and I'll go ahead and do it. So, you know, I wasn't uh, close friends whenever his uh, – he had never really turned his back on me. He was uh, – and leave off in the best way with the, some of the cast and – he was a stand-up guy, a humble guy, down-to-earth guy, very approachable, tremendous talent, and he, you know, found happiness with his. He was newly married and had a beautiful daughter and a son, and 
That's going to be hard for them. T- tell me what you said he didn't leave off best with some of the cast in what way? No, no, I didn't. Oh, I didn't you didn't. Oh, I'm no, sorry. Okay, okay. I didn't. All right, well, Joe, we have some pictures here. The first one, put, uh, put up 16. We just showed it. Uh, well, here's at you at the. Uh, he's at your wedding there, I guess. You can't see it, but he's yeah. at the table with, uh, at the wedding. And, right. um, it was a group shot that we all took. And it was great. I had that hanging in my, uh, my dining room. That's uh, one of my cherished possessions, you know? And then there's the one where you and you and him, I think that you tweeted out in your yeah. tribute to him. Uh, where yeah. was that taken? A lot of that was taken at Supes Art, a uh, restaurant I had that was in Bay Ridge. Yeah, I remember it well. On, on yeah. uh, four, Fourth Avenue? Third Avenue. Third Avenue. What am I saying? Yeah, Third Avenue. Yeah. And then there's the one with him at the table with his, uh, with his son. I guess this would be 18. Now, where, where was, is that at the wedding also? No. Uh, yeah. That was okay. with his son, yeah. Yeah. So, so... <sighs> That, I mean, that's, that's, that's a great story that he pulled you aside like that. Um, yeah. you, you talk about, was he a guy who, from what you knew of him, care, I mean, took care of himself? I mean, did he, you know, did, he, did, he, did he care about his weight? Did he know his cholesterol? I mean, it's a stupid question, but it, it's pertinent. I mean, did, is he somebody who yeah. you think took care of himself or, or didn't bother with those things? Well, I, I don't really know that. I mean, you know, we all had our demons. I battled them. And... Uh, no, I'm not asking him to, no, to no, put negative on him. I'm just yeah, curious. No, I know, yeah, I know, but the, he was a big guy, and you know, he liked a you know, running gag on the show that he was always eating. And you know, I, uh, I mean, it was to me, he wasn't really that uh, in bad shape. You know, he's six three, I think. So um, whether he, uh, you know, was at the doctors regularly, I, I really can't say. Um, you know, you see guys that go on and on and. Have you talked to any of the other? We're talking to Joseph Ganascoli, who played Vito Spadafori on The uh, Sopranos with James Gandolfini, of course. Have you talked to any of the other cast members? No. no I mean, I'll see them soon enough. Yeah. I mean, you know, once I got confirmation, there's really nothing to say. You know, know. what strikes me? Uh, Steve Sharippa, uh, I, I communicated <laughs> with him. He, he just can't do it. He left the Yankee game when he heard this yesterday. Yeah. And um, one of the other characters, I think, was on with Greta yesterday. And he had to end the interview. He said, I, I, I can't do this anymore. And, and I think that speaks in your, your, your tone, your voice, your emotion. That, that speaks to, to, to the love that he had on the, uh, among that cast. Yeah. I, like I said, I wasn't the closest friends. We didn't have a whole a lot of interaction with each other. But uh, those things stand out to me and, and his, uh, his kids now. And, uh, sure. I mean, I, I wouldn't do it yesterday. I won't go to any studios or anything. Um, but uh, it really hasn't dawned on to me yet. I mean, it will. I get, you know, as I reflect and think about things, and I, I don't know. So. Well, folks, folks could tweet with uh, Joe at, uh, at Joseph Ganascoli, G-A-N-N-A-S-C-O-L-I, and uh, follow him on Facebook as well and all that. Uh, Joe, I, I really appreciate you sharing with us and, and uh, our deepest sympathies to you, and, uh, and we'll, we'll speak to you hopefully under better circumstances soon, my friend.